I should be rec I'm not recording this. Damn it. Mahmoud, I missed the joke. I didn't record the joke. You want me to start again? Really? Should I do the... No problem. Should we do the joke again, Mahmoud? Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Panda walks. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Santa, show us the cover of the book, please. We don't see the cover. Okay, so this is the cover. Eats, shoots, and leaves. And we can see that there's a comma, that there's a panda bear. These are panda bears. And you can see that panda is, I think, erasing, painting white paint over the comma. So the panda's erasing the comma. This is part of a joke. So, uh, Mahmoud, tell us the joke. Thank you, Marwa. Marwa says they'll laugh again. Go ahead, Mahmoud. A panda walks into a restaurant, sit down, and order a sandwich. After he, finished, he finishes eating the sandwich, the panda pulls out a gun and shoots the waiter, and then stand up to go, hey, shoots the manager. Where are you going? You just shoot me, shoot my waiter, and you didn't pay for your sandwich. The panda yells back at the manager, hey man, I am panda, I am a panda, look it up. <laughs> Excellent job. So the panda walks into a restaurant, orders a sandwich, eats the sandwich, shoots the waiter, and leaves. The manager says, what are you doing? The panda says, hey, I'm a panda, look it up. So, the restaurant manager goes to the dictionary, looks up panda, and in the dictionary it says, animal from China, noun, eats, shoots, and leaves. Eats, shoots, and leaves. <laughs> but of course, the panda does not have an opposable thumb, so it can actually not pull a trigger. Uh, eats, shoots, and leaves. So let me go to Eva. When we say shoots and leaves, do we mean shooting a gun and then leaving? No. Okay. What do we mean? No, no. no. Uh, so shoot. Um, there are small um, animals of uh, of a tree. What kind of yes. tree? Bamboo tree. Bamboo. Oh yes. Uh, of bamboo tree. So that means uh, panda usually eat the uh, bamboo tree, tree uh, shoots from bamboo tree and um, leaves from the tree. Leaves That's right. F when we uh, write it. That's right. L E F singular. Plural, yes. L-E-A-V-E-S. Exactly right. So, if we say panda eats, comma, shoots, and leaves, that's three verbs. That's a series of verbs. If there's no comma, eats, shoots and leaves. Now eat is a verb and shoots and leaves are nouns. So we can understand. If there's a comma, it's three verbs. If there's no comma, it's one verb and two nouns. Punctuation is very important. That's the title of this book, Eats, Shoots, and Leaves. And it's a book about punctuation and punctuation for many people is confusing and interestingly punctuation in your language and punctuation in my language are probably different the rules are different in fact punctuation in the US and punctuation in the UK is also different uh, and the best example I can give you is called the Oxford comma. Does anybody know about the Oxford comma? Nobody? So, uh, I'll write this in the chat room and Santa, can you copy it over? Um, 
Mm. There you go. Santa, would you copy that and put that in there? We'll wait a second. Okay. So, uh, is this sentence correct? Is it wrong? Is it American? Is it British? Who can have any comment here? The sentence is, I bought an apple, a pear, and a banana. Is that sentence good? Is it bad? Is it American or British? Mahmoud says it's good. No, last, last comma should be removed. Ah, oh, so Marwa suggests the comma after pair, right? Yeah. Hmm. So it's wrong? I think that. Okay. That is the Oxford comma. In the UK, they keep the comma. But in America... There is no comma. So, I bought an apple, comma, a pear, comma, and a banana is British English. And in America, I bought an apple, comma, a pear, and a banana. That's how we would write it in America. So, there's a classic example of the different, a, a difference uh, in uh, the usage of commas in the uh, the US and the UK. So it gets really confusing. Now, who listened to the audiobook? It's only an hour, hour and 10 minutes. Who listened to it? Boom, boom, boom. I'm not going to have a book club if nobody listens to the book. Ilya? I hear the wind, but I don't hear any voices. <laughs> uh, Mahmoud listened, but wasn't able to focus. Okay, yeah. So yeah, me too. I I've just read the first third of the, this book. What's one more time? The first third, first twenty pages, I think, from this book. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so the book and the audio book are not related at all. Uh, they're completely different. Um, and the book is an actual book, but the audio book is, I think it was five podcasts, five podcasts that were put together. And uh, yeah, they're related, but and not really. Uh, I'm going to ask Ilya and Eva, please mute your microphone. I hear lots of uh, background noise. It sounds like uh, sirens. I hope everything's okay. I'm going to mute the microphone there. Okay. I don't like to mute it myself because sometimes people cannot mute, uh, cannot turn it off. Uh, okay. Yeah, so Ma uh, Eva says uh, she did have a hard time understanding. Yeah. Uh, the audiobook was completely British English and it was many different British accents. You had the London accent, you had Manchester, you had different universities, different areas. So not only was it British English, it was a variety of educated British English um, from the tough parts of town to the highest universities. So it was pretty tough. Even for me, there were sentences, there were sections I couldn't understand. Uh, one example, the word colon, C-O-L-O-N. Um, in America, we say colon, colon. And in the UK, I forgot, but they say colon, colon, something like that. It's like a totally different pronunciation. In America, we say period, you know, the dot. But in the UK, they don't say period. What do they say? In the UK. To stop? 
full stop. That's right. Full stop. Full stop. Uh, so, I mean, the English is itself different. Uh, so that makes it uh, kind of a challenge, too. So I wasn't aware that the audiobook would be a challenge, but it was. And it was much more uh, philosophical than I thought. I thought it would be a little more structured. But anyway, it was it was interesting. I did uh, enjoy the audiobook, but I did not enjoy the audiobook as an English teacher. <laughs> as an English teacher, it was uh, difficult because I have to talk about it with my students. Uh, as just a listener, a casual listener, it was entertaining. Um, it was uh, okay. So I feel sorry for you. I'm sure it was not easy. Um, they talked about uh, basically four parts of uh, punctuation. The comma, um, the, the, the period, uh, the colon and semicolon, and the quotation marks. In America, we say quotation marks. Uh, and the exclamation point. Those were the main punctuation things that uh, they talked about. And they gave us some basic rules. But let me go ahead. And today's uh, Hangout is not going to be long. We'll go, we'll go pretty short. I'm going to give you guys a challenge. Ilya, please mute your mic. Your mic came back on. Uh, okay, thank you. Can you say something? Go ahead and say something. Let's see if it's perhaps working. Can you hear me? I can hear you. It's oh, Yeah, I can hear you. Say something again. Uh, I don't know what's it, for this. It sounds better. It sounds better. So should I mute, mute it? Please mute it, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, now, um, I just took the screen from Santa, and I have a paragraph here. So what I decided to do for today uh, is to take a paragraph, and I want you guys to uh, fix the punctuation. Full punctuation exercise today. Um, so talk to me or write it in the chat room. What do I need to do with this very short paragraph here? How can I fix the punctuation? There is no punctuation. Tell me what to do. <laughs> Go ahead, Marwa. Okay. Uh, after surprised. After surprised. Yeah, we can put a uh, full stop or period. Can we can we fix also the capital and small letters? Absolutely, need to do that. Okay, uh, she in the first paragraph, uh, the the s need to be capital, and she after the sec second uh, par uh, sorry phrase. Okay, so after every period, yeah. I'll make a capital. Okay, she looked surprised. She said, "Your garden must be big." Dot. He said, uh huh. Here, yeah. Uh, he said that it is. Uh, he said that it is, and and he had plans to make it bigger. Mm -hmm. That it is. I think uh, we can. Mm -hmm. Stop here. Uh, oh, I I think that. Uh, he said that it is. Yeah. And he had. Okay, let me stop you there. That one, not a good idea because we should never start a sentence with and, according to elementary. So let's put a comma and. Okay. Okay. What else? Okay, after garage. After garage. Period? Yes. 
Kama. Kama? No. I don't know. Uh, we'll oh, no, okay. It's a, okay, serious. Uh -huh. Okay. And after room, we will put a comma. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Period. Uh huh. Period. And after yeah, after letter, put a comma. <laughs> Period. Okay, I don't know about that. I'm gonna. We'll leave this yellow over here. Uh -huh. Something. <laughs> Let's go to the net. Let's go to another easy one. Or semicolon. Semicolon. I think that might work. Okay. Put a uh, put a, uh, a comma uh, after ladder. And uh, field after words. Are you sure? Um, everything we will put will will restructure the 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 uh, the old paragraph. So we will do that and read and say what we uh, has done. <laughs> I'll do that again. <laughs> Next. Okay. After garden. Good job. Next. After walnut tree, maybe there may be a comma. Once again. Walnut tree. Yeah, it's it's probably going to be a full stop because there's no and. There's no and. Uh, it would be a comma if there was an and right here, but there is no and, so uh, it's not a series. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, so we have this. Uh, I don't really like these yellow parts. There's. Uh, let's go to the next sentence. Uh -huh. um, after a break, there is a period. Hmm. No? It's possible. I'll put a period there. I'm going to make it yellow. It's possible to have a period. And now uh, my garden will be gone. I think it may be uh, as a direct speech. Okay. So after gone, yes. Um, comma here or after thought? And here. Uh huh. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, no. After gone, maybe. Um, period. Yeah, we could put a uh, period. It could be a period or a comma. So what about this? Is this a big H or a little H? Uh, big or little what? This H. Should it be a... Uh, no, little. Yep, little h. That's right. Oh, maybe here, maybe after thought, uh, there may be a period. But once again, we don't want to start a sentence with a conjunction. It's possible, uh -huh. but we don't want to. Mm -hmm. uh. Can we put something after gun? No, if we if we make this a period, this is going to be right. No, 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 after the ah. second gun. Yeah, something needs to go here. Yeah, I think what? comma or semicolon, I don't know. 
Right. Okay. So this is where it gets complicated. Uh, you guys mm -hmm. did great. Uh, there's still a problem, but let me fix. Let me fix the yellow parts. Uh, he set up. He set it up in the garden room. He set it up in the garden room. Uh, she lo she looks surprised. She said, "I'm going to add some stuff here, guys. Your garden must be big." He said that it is, and he had plans to make it bigger. He took the ladder out of the garage. He set it up in the garden room when he was on the ladder. Uh, yeah, we can make this a period. When he was on the ladder, he could reach the top of the walls. When he was on the ladder, he could reach the top of the walls. Personally, I would use what they call a long dash. They call it a dash. Now he could have trees in his garden. He made a pear tree and a walnut tree. He made vines to hang from the branches. He made birds' nests in the trees. We got a problem here. Oh, so birds um, um, between D and S, there should be a box office. Probably here. Why after the S? Oh, yes, because it's plural. Yes, that's right, that's right. So this is possessive, uh, but it's plural. So probably not one, but many birds nests. Oh, yes. Trees. Very good. You need a period here, of course. Uh, it rained one night, and he lay awake. So we don't really need a comma here. Some people might want to, but we don't actually need it. So I'm going to leave that. Uh, my garden will be gone, he thought. Um, and I just don't like having a period here. I prefer to have a comma, uh, he thought. And then again... Um, a, a, he lay awake. Right. So uh, personally, I kind of want to put this together, but we already have it with a period, so that's okay. The problem is, what, what are we going to do right here? This is kind of a problem. And I agree, Eva, I kind of want to start uh, with a capital letter, so let's go ahead and do that. But it was not gone, but what can we do here? Um, comma, or semi semicolon. Right, and the book suggests semicolon, but for me personally, I prefer the long dash. Now, now this story makes uh, sense. And for me, it's punctuated the way I like it. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, let me have, uh, so Eva and, and also Mark. The title, the title with a capital letter. Thank you, thank you. What now, so just this? No, S and G. Yep, that's right, that's right. Uh, ba -bum, ba -bum. So I'm going to have all of you read this. Uh, let me have uh, Eva read the first part here, Marwa the second part, and uh, let's have uh, 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 Vladimir read the last part. Oops, we need a, com a period down here. Okay, so the three of you, Eva, Marwa, Vladimir, I want you guys to read this section. Go ahead. Oh. Eva, can you hear me? Okay, I can't hear Eva right now. Um, let me have uh, Marwa start with the first one, the first paragraph there. Go ahead, Marwa. Okay. A uh, special garden. Uh, she looked su surprised. She said, your garden must be big. Uh, he said that, uh, that it is, and he had plans to make it bigger. He, he took uh, the ladder uh, out of the, the garage. He set it up in the, in the garden room. Very good. Vladimir, next paragraph. When he was on the ladder, he could reach the top of the walls. Now he could have trees in his garden. 
He made a pear tree and a walnut tree. He made wines to hands from the branches. He made birds' nest, nests in the trees. Great job. And uh, Cindy, the last one. Can you hear me, Shin? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> one night and he lay awake. My father will be gone. He thought that it was my gun. I will mean, feel that place will wash away. Okay, very good, very good. Everybody, please mute your microphone. Uh, it'll sound better again. So, uh, excuse me, now I uh, rejoined again. Can I read this first one? Sure, go uh, ahead, go ahead, Emma. This <laughs> She looked surprised. She said, your garden must be big. He said that, and he planned to make bigger. He took the ladder out of the garage. He set it up in the garden room. In the garden room. So. Excellent job. No, that, that's exactly right. Uh, I'm going to uh, mute, mute your mics, everybody, one, one more time. Sorry to keep saying that. Um, it changes, makes it better. Very good. So, punctuation is very tough. Simple question. What are the rules for punctuation? Who can tell me? Oh, as I um, was um, getting familiar with the book, I um, there was the history of punctuation that um, it's a very ancient thing and um, in ancient um, theater it was um, set up for actors uh, when to breathe, when to stop, um, how, how long to stop and um, how, uh, because um, of the next um, passage of speaking and so on. So it was the first one. And it also gather um, the meaning of together. So, so, I don't want to hear about the story. I want to know what's the rule for punctuation. Rule? Rule. R-U-L-E. How do you feel it? <laughs> yes, that's right. That's the rule. There is no rule. There is no rule. Every writer has their own rule. Now, we study basic rules in school. They talked about in elementary school. How, when children are eight years old, they learn the basic rules of punctuation. Periods, commas, apostrophes, quotation marks, uh, and that's it. All the other stuff, there are so many different rules. The New York Times has its rules. The Chicago Tribune has its rules. The Washington Post has its rules. The London Guardian has its rules. Everybody's rules are different. Publishing companies have different rules. It is chaos. But the basic rule is understanding what they mean. A comma is a pause. A period is the end of a thought. An exclamation point shows emotion. A long dash shows connection. Kind of a different sentence, but connection. Uh, and those are the typical, uh, the, and the long dash can be substituted for a semicolon, but I don't like, personally, I hate the semicolon. I don't like it. Um, so for when I use the long dash, 
it's basically a semicolon. Uh, and and uh, double quotations generally show when you are not speaking, when somebody else is speaking. That's not the narrator, but somebody else. That's it. So uh, the book was entertaining. And what the book tells us is it shows us basic rules, but it also tells us, depending on the person, depending on the writer, punctuation can be completely different. It's, uh, it's a big problem, uh, but it's important to try. It's important to try, and when you see punctuation, to try and understand why there's a comma or whatever the situation is. Um, so it is important to go ahead and, and try to understand and to use punctuation. Punctuation has two functions to gr grammar, organization, but also emotion, when to pause, uh, and, and things like that. So those are the functions of punctuation, but the rules, there are no good rules. That's it. <laughs> Um, but, um, you know, um, the basic rules, I think that um, they are almost the same in um, many languages, yes? About the full stop, if you can replace it with and or or, and, and so on. All these rules, I think that uh, they are in many languages. Yep. Um... She was talking, in the book, she was talking about the comma. And so in America and in the UK, you know, once again, my example sentence, uh, um, where was it? I can't find it anymore. Wow, you guys are chatting a lot. Oh, I bought an apple, a pear, and a banana. Um, this sentence is really interesting. I'll give you three ways to write the sentence, everybody. And this is a UK and the US, okay? So, uh, boom, boom, I'll write it three times, and you guys tell me, so we'll do this, and we'll do this. Are these three sentences possible? Anything impossible? I think they uh, all are possible, especially when you hear it. Okay. When you so, listen to it. <laughs> so, again, this is UK, standard, typical, regular UK. This is US, standard, typical, regular US. And this is UK barrister or lawyer, uh, a legal uh, man, legal way. So in a contract, uh, they will not use a comma because it can be confusing. <laughs> so it's insane. Uh, for most people, reading a British legal document would be really confusing because they almost use no punctuation. Um, and the reason they use no punctuation is to make it easy to understand. But most people find this very confusing to understand. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a big problem. It can be really, uh, crazy. That's why, uh, they say in America and the UK, if you're not a lawyer, don't interpret legal documents. Have a lawyer interpret legal documents. It can get really crazy, um, and very confusing. So... Uh, always, if it's a le if it's business legal, if it's some other type of legal document, uh, invest the money in a lawyer so that they make sure that they understand the documents. Even in America, it's pretty bad too. Yeah, in the book, the most interesting thing to me that she told uh, many stories that changed dramatically because of the uh, 
punctuation way. Like what? Um, she, she tells many stories. I oh, remember. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of, of the origin and the usage, right? Yeah, when they just put the comma uh, uh, in some place, it will change the meaning. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, she gave lots of good examples. Um, oh, boy, and, and now I, I can't think of any of them. Um, uh, oh, my God. Uh, I can't think of it. There's a really good one that she said a couple of times, and right now I can't remember what it was. Uh, but yeah, commas can make a huge difference. You you do really want to be careful uh, with commas, and uh, so yeah, that here's one. Uh, she um, like thank God it's Friday. For example, uh, like in these three cases. I'm not sure if it's this, but uh, when I was on the internet, I found uh, pictures uh, under this um, title, and um, there were two, one after another, with the same text, with different punctuation, with different commas, and different pictures. And uh, it was really clear that um, how it changes the meaning when you put the commas on different places. Yes. So, and I think it's also good for everyone. <laughs> and it's also um, visual. You can see it and it's easier. Yeah, I'll change the uh, uh, document here and I'll show you uh, some examples that they have with the pictures. Uh, so, yeah, this is a good one. Slow animal crossing, slow animal crossing without the comma completely changes the meaning. Uh, let's eat grandpa, let's eat grandpa. <laughs> Commas can save somebody's life. A woman without her man is nothing. A woman without her man is nothing. A woman without her man is nothing. Completely different. Completely different. So, uh, punctuation can absolutely change uh, the meaning of a sentence. And once again, she gave some very good examples in the book. And the simple example, I can't remember for the life of me. Uh, but this last one here is a really good one to understand. A woman without her man is nothing. So that means a woman needs a man. Does it? A woman without her man is nothing. So if there's no man, woman, nothing. That's one possible interpretation. The other interpretation, a woman says, uh, without her, man is nothing. Man needs a woman to be something. What is a woman? A woman. The definition of a woman, without her, man is nothing. A woman is super important to the man. If the man doesn't have a woman, uh, the man is nothing. So completely opposite uh, in, in the meaning there. So it's good stuff. So punctuation is the rules change when it gets technical, but the basic rules <laughs> will never change. And you need to be careful. It's uh, something that you need to pay attention to 
when you write. Now, I'm going to finish the hangout today with another simple rule. How can you avoid confusion? What's the best way to never have a punctuation problem? Not to use it. <laughs> no, no, we need to use it. What's the best way to avoid punctuation, confusion, and problems? It's really easy, and it's what I recommend all my ESL students. Follow your feeling. That can get crazy. Feelings can be really insane. You're a poet, Mahmoud. You know that. The answer is, everybody, when you write, keep your sentences short. Keep your sentences short. If your sentences are short, there's almost, there's very little need for punctuation, especially for uh, complicated punctuation. The shorter your sentences, Punctuation will not be necessary. Santa, I wonder, do you have a picture of our next book? I'm just curious. Santa might be busy. Um, it's a higher call, so I'll show people right here. A Higher Call is our next book. It's an audio book, uh, and it's like about 12 hours. Um, it's a big book, uh, but this is the book that I'm going to use and uh, finish uh, this year with. So we are going to use this book, but we're going to finish the year uh, with this book. Um, it's an audio book, and uh, they do have a paperback version, uh, and I, I will probably have both, actually. Um, so we have all of November and December, the first two weeks in December. So basically within six weeks, I want to finish this book. It's a story. It's an amazing story. Seven weeks. And the last hangout that I have, I think is the 19th of December. No. Oh, wait a second. It's October, November, December. No, the 17th. Uh, so the 17th of December, the 3rd of December, the 26th and the 12th. No, sorry, 5th, 19th, 3rd, and 17th, yeah. Uh, so anyway, I think we have four more hangouts together. So if it's 12 hours, if the book is 12 hours, that'll be uh, three hours of the book for each hangout, the first three hours. So we're going to divide the book into four pieces, three hours uh, each, and uh, we'll discuss it. This will be our final book club meeting for a while. Next year, I will continue the book club. I will use your summaries and your input, but I probably will not have live classes. I don't know. Uh, but what I will do is I will include the book club as part of my podcast. If you guys know about Let's Master English, the podcast, uh, that, that will start again. And a part of that podcast will be uh, discussing books, uh, audiobooks specifically. So um, that'll be coming up uh, in, in the future, just to let you know. So our next book is A Higher Call. It's uh, an amazing book. I think everybody, I hope everybody will enjoy it. Any questions? I'm out of here. Uh, do you mean the, the podcast of uh, the, the long one? Yeah, the long one. Mm -hmm. Country Shane and all that stuff? 
<laughs> Country Shane and all that stuff, yes. I love them. I love them. <laughs> Very good. I'll make sure that Country Shane has a bigger uh, role. <laughs> Country Shane is the best. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's I'll horrible. To, <laughs> I, have, I love it. I haven't spoken with him in a long time, so I'll have to see if he's not busy. <laughs> and there's some stories. It's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to fart, <laughs> I don't know. That's right, that's right. Yeah, Eva, that's right. Just that's how we started with the books. We're going to kind of go back to that. Yeah, it's about time. Time is my and your enemy. Everybody, thank you so much for, for joining me. Thank you for your patience. Can we interact in this, in this podcast? Um, yeah, when I go live, I will be able, we will be able to interact uh, via Twitter, and I have the technology, so eventually I'll probably let people join in the podcast, but uh, in the beginning, just via Twitter, and then as it goes, I might include your audio, okay? So... When I do the podcast next year, it will be live and also recorded, so you can listen to it anytime. Uh, but yeah, so you will be able to interact. Um, but the book club will, what will happen is I will ask for your, your feedback before I make the podcast, and then I will probably read. Or if you're uh, audio recording or something, uh, I might include your voice. We'll see how it goes, though. I uh, I hope that the Eats, Shoots, and Leaves didn't kill you too much. It was an enjoyable book for me, but as an English teacher, I was like, wow, this is tough. Thank you so much, guys. I think you'll enjoy A Higher Call. Uh, get the audio book, and for me, I'll have both, the audio and the print book. So check your library, but uh, thank you so much. And I'll see you in two weeks. In two weeks should be no problem. I should see you in two weeks. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Coach. Bye. Bye, guys. Take care, Mahmoud. Take care, Bye. guys.